Over, we heard from a number of our local lawmakers while they were locked in secure areas. While Congressman Emanuel Cleaver spoke to our own Abby Dodge, people started knocking on his door and he was understandably startled. He got up and we could see that he was holding a baseball bat when that happened. We spoke to Cleaver again today about what he thinks will happen now. Abby Dodge shares his hopes for the future. Kansas City Representative Emanuel Cleaver said Wednesday was the worst day for democracy in America since the Civil War. We asked the representative how Americans can move on from yesterday's assault on the Capitol. As mobs broke down doors and windows to get closer to senators certifying election results, senators and representatives took shelter in safer locations. Congressman Emanuel Cleaver told KCTV5 yesterday events at the Capitol threatened America's democracy. He predicted other countries would question our democracy's vitality. When we spoke over the phone with Cleaver this afternoon, he said America can move forward by sticking to its word. I, I think we've got to demonstrate, first of all, that uh, and foremost, that, that, that when we say no one is above the law, we mean it, that it's not some uh, you know, slogan that we use uh, internationally to prove our, uh, you know, moral superiority. If Donald Trump loved the United States, if he really loved this country, he would spare us the horror of the next 13 days by quitting and going to Mar-a-Lago uh, uh, and never uh, stepping out in public. In our conversations with Cleaver yesterday, he said there were likely parties happening at the Kremlin. Now that we've heard responses from both America's allies and enemies, we asked Cleaver how people are viewing America abroad. We'll have that part of the story for you coming up at six. In Kansas City, Abby Dodge, KC, TV5 News.